A few weeks ago, Super Light defeated Rotang in the biggest Muay Thai fight of this generation. Does that make him the best Muay Thai fighter in the world now? In this video today, we're gonna take a look at some of Super Light's best performances in the one championship promotion. And stay tuned until the end, where we'll analyze the biggest Muay Thai fight of the century between Super Luck and Rotan. This is DBD Fight Club. Welcome back. Before returning to the One Championship promotion in 2020, Superlek was a former Lumpini champion. After dominating the Raja Damnern tournaments and other regional circuits, Superlek made his return to One. In his first match, he faced Panpayak for the seventh time in his career. He won via unanimous decision after displaying some beautiful Muay Thai, consistently countering every attack from Panpayak by delivering some crushing rear kicks and did further damage by throwing some vicious knees to the body while in the clinch, one of his signature moves. His second fight back in the one championship promotion was in kickboxing against Fadi Khalid. Khalid was on the offensive early into the fight, but wasn't prepared for Superlek's relentlessness. The repeated rear middle kick was too much for his opponent, earning the victory in the judges' eyes. This performance ended up earning Superluck an opportunity to fight for the flyweight kickboxing belt against Elias and Ahachi in an absolute banger. Oh, that right kick. Left hook there from Inahachi. There's the right hand from the chin now. The looping punches. Garlic Inahachi, who is always moving off lock. Must have heard you, Rich. Continually making Superlek guess. Mitch. I do like the leg kicks landed by Superlek in that second round, but it was pretty close. But Ilias is just still scoring with. Now you may say well. And Ahachi came to fight and consistently pressured Superlek for all five rounds. The Moroccan was leading the fight in the beginning, landing some beautiful punch combinations. However, Superlek countered this by aggressively kicking the body of Anahachi, wearing down his arms and causing his guard to break as the fight went on. Head kick there from Superlek. He's unofficial, of course. We have three judges circle side. Superlek stuck to his game plan, and many people thought it was enough. Unfortunately, the kicking machine lost the match, and the Moroccan was awarded the decision. But nonetheless, this fight further propelled Superlek's career. After a year away, he faced Japanese fighter Taiki Nato under Muay Thai rules, competing in the one flyweight Muay Thai World Grand Prix Tournament quarterfinal. Naito saying, be careful, take your time. Super Luck wants to finish this early. I think he was just uh, leg kick top of the fight. Taiki Naito's, see, he's immediately starting to go after that leg. Restive Super Luck is. Outside leg, tries to counter up the round kick Naito. He's Super Leg came with a vengeance, throwing some punishing leg kicks and damaging elbows. Timing on those leg kicks, right? They're both between the eyes. That was beautiful. Razor sharp. More Here elbows comes. there. Here comes Super Leg. He said he knocked him out with an elbow. Here they come. Super Leg. The fight was even for the first few minutes, but in the second round, we see Super Leg flood the opponent with a flurry of elbows and knees. His return to one was met with maturity, taking time to pick his shots to tear up his opponent. His next fight was against Walter Gonzalez in the semi-final of the Grand Prix, and he made sure to end the fight as soon as possible. You used to sing Muay Thai boxing. Oh, come on! Stuck him in the left third, but the the rivers, but he popped right back up and his going oh, yeah. A short elbow broke his opponent's guard and sat him down in the first round, earning a spot to the final to fight Pompeyek once again. However, after both failing to make weight, they were unable to compete in the Grand Prix final, and the fight was changed to a three-round matchup. They know each other so well. Pompeyek. Good punch combination. Not guys. I checked there from Pompeyek. Pompeyak's doing a good job of checking him. He's doing a really good job of defense. Except that, that's hard to block inside of Pompeyak. We are going into the third round. The distance. Puts a knee guard on. 
Hood leans back like Fat Joe, respond to the- In his eighth fight with Pan Payak, we see an amazing and beautiful performance from the both of them. After spending over 20 rounds together in the ring, they both know each other very well, but it was Super Like who won via split decision. After this impressive performance, Superlek was set for the rematch against Elias and Ahachi for the flyweight kickboxing title. But after the Moroccan failed to make weight, Superlek was scheduled to fight Daniel Puertas in a fight that would be an absolute banger and would propel Superlek to superstardom. Like kick from Superlek, and then another right, and another kick. This is that showing up because Super Daniel starts Reading your opponent, and in the second round, they start to make their adjustments, and they go out. Downloading the information, and they're going to be able to send it from Super Lex. One minute into round two. Maybe in the fourth round. During the first two rounds, Super Lex committed to the rear middle kick and knee to the body to bring down the hands of Puertas. He throws quick combinations and then cuts the distance to throw that signature knee to the body of his opponent. Looking for one job and just crossing distance over and over and over and trying. Uh oh, they're shaking. This oh, is, this is the first time we've ever seen Superlek moving forward, and he talked about working his hands in camp. Maybe this is a the switch of directions. Oh, not going that. That's the chin. The head movement. He's got. Oh, it's back off the wall. Where's his take? Puertas was caught with a left straight to the chin that stumbled him and nearly sat him down. Despite a barrage of strikes from Superlek, the Spanish fighter was able to weather the storm. Coming in, get in. Get your box and go. Yeah, in early May. Hey, it feels good. It feels good to be here and I'm trying to share some of my knowledge service that with you gentlemen. And I think Daniel's trying to keep, keep, keep keeping that pressure there because he can't. These two produced an absolute classic kickboxing fight, showing pure passion and heart for all five rounds. Superlek was able to incorporate his Muay Thai style into this kickboxing matchup, combining his relentless pressure and damaging strikes to break down his opponent in every single round, earning him the one flyweight kickboxing world championship. Superlek was now set to defend the belt against Rotang who would sustain an injury in training and was shortly replaced by the Australian Daniel Williams. The rear leg of Superlek hits like a baseball bat and the sheer velocity and power is unpredictable as his opponents can barely prepare for the strike as they don't know if it will land on their legs, body, or head. After throwing vicious kicks and knees throughout the fight, it would end up being a beautiful punch combination that would knock out his opponent in the third round. His next challenger was Nabil Anen. The 19-year-old Algerian fighter was 188 centimeters tall, with a record of 33 and 4. Despite being a whole foot shorter than the Algerian, Superlek implemented a lumberjack game plan, attacked the body and the legs viciously, and then the tree would fall down. In the summer of 2023, he faced Tagir Kalilov. The Russian was considered a dangerous opponent for Superlek, but the kicking machine isn't afraid of any single opponent. Sticking to the outside like this, and Superlek's coming out with venom here in this first round at those elbows. Superlek quickly set the tempo for the entire fight when he landed the first of many vicious elbows in the first round. With these elbows open around. Predicted by Rich Franklin and Superlex changing the levels and going knee to the body. Not only did he cut up his opponent with some brutal elbows, he further added damage by incorporating those signature rear leg kicks and knees. 
After five minutes, the referee saw enough and waved the fight. Which he did, and not draw that now the moment we've all been waiting for. On September 22nd, Superlek finally fought Rotang. The 26-year-old is considered the most dangerous Muay Thai fighter of this generation, and after years of cancelled bouts due to injury and promotional red tape, these two were finally scheduled to fight each other for the flyweight Muay Thai championship. Unfortunately, Superlek missed weight, rendering him unable to challenge for the belt. Nonetheless, these two participated in the Muay Thai Fight of the Century in a three-round main event for the ages. Superlek attacking the legs, led the fight early by cutting up Superlek in the first minute with some vicious elbows. But Superlek was persistent with some kicks and elbows of his own to score points for the judges. Deciding moment of the fight was Superlex knocked down with a rear elbow and knee to the body. Rotang quickly contested the knockdown, but the referee proceeded to start the count. Persistent in the last round, trying to make up for that knockdown, but Superlek wasn't gonna drop the ball just like that. Under one championship rules, there are no draws, as there must be a winner. I honestly thought this fight was completely even, but the knockdown in the second round ended up being the deciding factor for this fight. What a fight. Superlek has to be one of the most dangerous Muay Thai fighters in the world right now. Millions of fans tuned in to watch the Muay Thai super fight against Rotang. But this fight produced many more questions for the fans. I would love to see a rematch between these two. Because he missed weight, Superlek was disqualified to fight for the title. And I think I can speak for everyone when I say I would love to see a rematch between these two for the title in a five round main event. However, if the rematch between Rotang fails to happen, I would love to see Superlek move up to Bantamweight to fight the current champ, Jonathan Haggerty. The British Muay Thai fighter recently dethroned the legend Nong Oh by knocking him out cold back in April of this year. Superlek has beaten Haggerty once before, but things are much different now. But what do you guys think? Who do you want to see Superlek fight next? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. This is DBD Fight Club, and we'll see you next time.